Hi right, everyone, let's briefly talk about diffusion weight imaging and in particular, how does acute infarction cause restricted diffusion on imaging? Three different patients with the same diagnosis of stroke. Patient number one, you can see diffusion weight sequence, the WA signal is bright, ADC is dark. Patient number two, you can see DWA is bright, but ADC is relatively normal in signal intensity compared to the adjacent tissue. Patient number three, you can see it's DWI bright and it's also ADC bright. So imaging description, we call first one restrict diffusion, second case ADC pseudo normalization, third case T2 shine through. Our clinical interpretation is that first patient has acute infarction, that's anywhere between onset all the way up to 10 days in adult. Second case, uh, subacute infarction, that usually occur after second week. Third patient has chronic inversion that typically occur three weeks and out. So restrict diffusion equals acute inversion on imaging and it's bright on DWI, dark on ADC. When we talk about restrict diffusion, essentially we're talking about restricted diffusion of the water molecule compared to the adjacent normal tissue. So the question is, how does acute inversion cause restricted diffusion? One of the main theories is that this happens due to failure of the sodium-potassium pump. As you remember, sodium-potassium pump is embedded within the cell membrane. One of their job is to pump out three sodium and let in two potassium. Those create an electric potential across the membrane. Also, by passive gradient, there's influx of water we want to come in from extracellular compartment into the intracellular compartment by passive gradient. So you need an active pump to pump out the water to sustain the cell. When acute ischemia occurs, the pump fails. So therefore, the cell can no longer pump out the water, and you have influx of water from extracellular compartment into intracellular compartment. Those begin the cytotoxic edema. In this simplified diagram, there's a sample that comprises of intracellular compartment and extracellular compartment. You can imagine that the water in the extracellular compartment, their diffusivity is relatively high. Compare that to the intracellular water where their diffusion is more restricted by the cell membrane and by the thicker intracellular compartment, cytoskeletons, etc. Let's say there are equal number of there are equal number of intracellular and extracellular water. So at this stage, let's say they are diffusion neutral. Then acute infarction occurs you have now influx of water from extracellular compartment into intracellular compartment. On average, the entire sample is going to have more restricted diffusion compared to the adjacent normal tissue. As the cell begins to swell up, that can further crowd out the water in the extracellular compartment. So even the water in the extracellular compartment in this case is going to be more restricted compared to the adjacent normal tissue. So at this point, your sample is going to experience the maximum restricted diffusion. So we see that on imaging, very bright on DWI, dark on ADC. Then as the cell begins to draw water from the vascular space, you have vasogenic edema that starts to bounce out the, the ratio between extracellular water and intracellular water. More water comes in from vascular space. And eventually, so we're back to the diffusion neutral state. So this is what's going on with pseudo-normalization, roughly around second week. As the cell begins to lyse, now they release the intracellular water back into the extracellular compartment, so you begin to have increased diffusion on average. So eventually, as the cell begins to lyse, completely lyse away, you have the entire sample now comprised only of extracellular compartment. So not only you don't have restricted diffusion anymore, Compared to the adjacent normal tissue, now the sample has increased diffusion or facilitated diffusion. This is a nice example of the patient that was scanned every single week. On week one, you can see there's a bright signal on DWI, dark signal on ADC. Week two, bright signal DWI, normal signal on ADC. Week three, bright signal, bright signal. So week one, we have restricted diffusion, acute infarction. Week two, we have ADC pseudo normalization subacute infarction. Week number three, we have T2 shine through, chronic infarction. I hope that's clear. Thank you for your attention. Have a good day.